Hello, 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 and hello to everyone, and welcome to the episode two of How I Lost It. Uh, this is the place where you send in your videos and we try to analyze what you did wrong and where you lost the game. And today's uh, usual suspects are, is a video which has been sent by RPR, which is Aga, and he lost this game to a Protoss called Pilskin. And let's analyze and try and figure out where Aga lost this game and uh, try and figure out what happened uh, in the entire game. So if when we run this, at the bottom right is uh, Aga as RPR and Pilskin is at the top. We will just run this really quickly uh, because we really need to get into the parts where we actually find out how he lost the game. Now, uh, initial scout goes in, Not, I hope he sends a scout, um, and pretty standard build we can actually rush this really quickly and we'll see that the scout's gone out both of them say high fives uh, that's a wrong scout and we can keep running this and there's now two marines who are sufficiently and there's a bunker so this is sufficiently now guarded in they go and the expansion's gone through and an expansion's gone through here um, and let's check out what's actually been happening during this entire time and if you look at the units there's 33 to 26 with a couple of mules with about seven extra and there's not really anything so that's about the same if you look at um, the production at the mineral tap uh, 39 to 29 and that is uh, now a substantial lead that's been taken and that's because 11 armies sitting here is it recoverable mm, let's see it is starting making a difference right um, and if you look at the, um, the income which is there nearly the same the gas is a difference uh, but yeah this is nearly th and this 10 lead keeps on and that's just because of super chrono boost um, let's see what happens now there's these guys are just standing in the th in the center the army's not really anything he look at him he's not built any units like <laughs> 6 to 19 right so um, that probably is one of the big opportunities to do this now he is sitting doing literally nothing waiting and waiting and waiting and let's jump into this and see if anything happens so there is an expansion which has gone down here but no expansion really being made here nope no expansion really being made here so that's the third already in its place and it's making up now I think Aga is like um, hang on there is something that is going to there is it is it uh, DT's and he's not figured that part out and then he just said look let's just send in a drop and check some stuff out um, army 22 to 35 23 to 37 and we're gonna slow down here and they did and here comes the other one and DTs are here and they go chop 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 and we're gonna slow down here and see what happens so they're obviously bamoosing out of there I don't know whether he'll survive ah, no he did good and this is just standing here to go ahead and scout now third expansion's already gone here this is a great pile on uh, placement and what's been happening here he's been making a ghost academy and he's doing his third right now now let's look at the army so worker 60 to 63 he's definitely made up 54 to 39 income 1400 to about 1700 that's okay 400 and that's that's fair it's pretty even right so let's look at the unit count 60 to 64 4 to 11 11 but uh oh that is something imba plus look at what's happening here this is he's already gone on the back of this and expanded into a fourth and a four base um, protoss is going to be off an imba and he's just making his third not really and still waiting here so hmm I, it doesn't look scary with a hundred and forty five to sixty seven which 
is in the favor here but this 8 lead is still active there yeah I'm mm, it is scary it's getting to really scary Sir, 6 archons with charge lots and let's look at a charge lot here yep charge lot right this is big this is this is a big army and and this, let's jump faster let's see what's going to really happen and that's been scouted out that there is nothing really happening here he's now going to his third he's saturating his fourth he's checking no other action happening here and let's see what's going to happen huh? I think he will check up here that's not going to be checkable he's gonna come down here and try and check here well, let's see so is there a big difference here I'm gonna pause here and check one thing 87 to 72 and you know why that's just because one two three four he's nearly mined out his main it's four base Protoss versus a two and a half base Terran Oh, three base turn yeah three base turn good so it's 87 to 72 the army supply is still in the favor of the Terran but you have to understand the Terran is literally sitting down in marine marauder uh, with a ghost with what four ghosts yeah with so MMM with G it's MMMG and here we have zealots with two immortals and loads of archons. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen? So let's run it fast and we'll keep on. Okay, and now let's like look at what's going to really happen in the middle of the map. And there's a push. That's the that's the big army push. Okay, that's all his army. That's literally I'll like, leave some here, but that's all the army. That's called super chop him up, right? The other thing which we've not noticed while this has been happening is look at this: three Protoss armor. Three Cyblades versus, come on guys, 1-1. One, one. A 3-3. Three, three. And how did he afford it? Because of all those. And it's a hunt, it's nearly a maxed out Protoss running against this and that's dead. So you might believe that this game actually was lost on the basis of 3-3. Three, three, but I would actually say that's lost on the basis of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 base versus getting to a fourth base. The macro game killed the game here. Okay, I think this is pretty much the beginning of the end. Here comes the death ball. Dan 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 and they go shh run 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 really fast. Uh no snipes at all. Uh EMP 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 oh, no EMP well that's the other thing that put, that he didn't do and here he comes he's like yes right and that's it GG now could he have survived this um, maybe these are guys who could probably have taken some damage by sitting in there but is the game won sure because at these guys right hey that's a nice archon I never saw a, never saw an archon without his ghost shield woo he looks nice well yeah so anyway <laughs> then that's where the game was lost so Aga there you have it macro game he out macroed you up front you sat on your ass did nothing for some part of the game this was too defensive a line to start with uh, you were always one base behind. Uh, his army was stronger unit per unit in terms of heavy units than yours. You had volumes, he had quality, um, and he made sure his quality is upgraded to 3-3 versus yours being upgraded.